I'm going to talk a little bit about a couple of the features in our people file that uh, you may or may not use, but it would be time billing and our help desk. These are features that were created for our Biz Basics module, which is a different product we create. But we did leave a couple of the uh, features in Song Tracker. All of them won't work like invoicing because this is not an invoicing system. But I just want you to know you can keep track of some data. If you're doing something like selling software or selling support, or you sell a product that you need to keep, uh, you know, people call in for information, your help desk would be very helpful in keeping information about that. Uh, if you do time billing, you can at least keep track of some of the billing, uh, some of the times that you do on uh, various, various things that you do in your company. So I want to let you know about that. So to get over there, uh, I don't see it in the layouts here, so I'm going to click the previous button, and you'll see time billing and help desk. So let's click on time billing. The time billing to make a new record, you click this hourglass, you put a rate in here, you can keep track of that, and it creates a new record down here. So put in meeting. And as you hit your enter, your tab key, it will put a time in. But if you want to, if you're waiting on a call, as you click off of this, it'll go to the top of the list. You could reset your start time. So if you're on the phone and you're trying to keep track of how many minutes did I spend with somebody on the phone, click this reset time. And then when you are done, you'll click reset end. And at least it will keep track of the number of minutes that you can bill for. That's really all it'll do and let you create notes about a call or a meeting or whatever it is you're billing for. And then you could go, you could take this information that's in here and bill it out through QuickBooks or however you want to bill later. But at least you can keep track of the time. So for example, I'll click reset and you got to click out of the portal first, out of here, and then click it because it's, it's doing a, uh, relational database thing. It thinks you're doing something else in another file because this is related data. So not to confuse you, but just click out of this portal before you click the button and you shouldn't have any problem with that. So it's 43 seconds you're billing for, but it could keep hours and days, etc. Okay, so you can type in notes here. This is your response. Thanks. This is your internal notes that you only want to see. If you want to send a letter or something, or this is a follow-up, actually, status follow-up. So it really does only that. It doesn't do a lot of things. Uh, you can put what it's regarding. You can put in there uh, a letter, email. You want to email them to respond. And if you click that Go button over here, you could send an email. If you have an email log for this person, you would click that and you could send a response from the meeting. That could include your billing if you wish, if you keep their credit card on file, etc. It's not very comprehensive, but it does give you something you could use. And I just want to let you know about that. The other feature is our help desk. Click that button and you'll see the left side stays the same. The right is our little help desk. Click the plus button at the top here and you could type in a description, uh, for example, update software. Say you have a tech support call. Say you want to follow up with an email to them. It, you could edit these, click on edit and change these to be something that you can utilize. Say widget one. These are your internal notes during your phone call. You can go on forever just to keep information this way. This is your help desk, your internal help desk. When you're talking to your customers on the phone, uh, it could be about anything. It could even be about songs, but we do have an evaluation file that we've done a separate tutorial on to keep track of information and responses from your music. Uh, over here, you can track. Thanks. I'll send you the latest update in a few minutes, etc. There's categories you could put in here, category one and two, date completed, you can put a date in there. 
urgent, high priority, for example. Uh, if you want to follow up, just click the go button. It'll give you that email. Thanks. I mean, you can make it as long as you want. So, oh, there it is. Thanks. I'll send you the latest update in a few minutes. You click this, it will send it to this email address. And then when you're done, click done. So it's very simple, but it does let you track as many records as you want inside of your database. So that's a cool feature. Now this stuff at the top requires the BizBasic module, so it's not going to update. But it does let you create new records by clicking here, etc. Okay. Just wanted to let you know about those features. I hope it's helpful in your business somewhere. Okay, thanks.